Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you all are doing good today. Today in this video, I am going to discuss and demonstrate about network protection and attack surface reduction capability in Windows 10. You might be wondering why we need network protection to be configured. Actually, network protection is an attack surface reduction capability in Windows 10 and it prevents user accessing dangerous domains either through browser or various other applications. Domains that host phishing scams, exploits, and other malicious content on the internet are always considered dangerous. If we talk more about network protection, then network protection capability is not limited to provide protection just for web, but it extends the protection to the operating system level as well. Surely, uh, network protection have some prerequisites that we need to keep in mind before enabling this feature. So let's discuss about the requirements. You need to have Windows 10 version 17.09 or higher and Windows Server 18.03 or higher. You also need to configure firewall to allow connectivity between your device and the mentioned URLs. So let's discuss about the different ways how we can configure network protection on a Windows 10 device. You can configure network protection on a Windows 10 device either using Microsoft Intune, Activity group policies or PowerShell commands. So let's get into the demo now. In the demo, what I will do, I will configure network protection uh, first using Microsoft Intune and then using group policies. As we discussed, there are multiple ways how you can configure network protection on a Windows 10 device. Uh, you can either use uh, Microsoft Intune or you can use uh, Microsoft group policies or uh, you can use PowerShell command to enable network protection on a Windows 10 device. So let's see how you can configure uh, network protection on a Windows 10 device using Microsoft Intune. In order to configure network protection using uh, Microsoft Intune, what you need to do, you have to log into endpoint.microsoft.com and uh, now we need to create a profile for the Windows 10 device. So let's go to the devices and Windows you have an option to of configuration profile here let's uh, choose configuration profile and create a profile choose the platform type as windows 10 and leader and the profile type as uh, choose templates here and uh, profile type as endpoint production you can give it a name and uh, under microsoft defender exploit guard you have an option called network filtering and here what you need to do is you have to enable it. You can either net, enable network protection in the audit mode or you enable it. If you configure it in a audit mode, then in that case, what you are doing, you are allowing all the traffic, but uh, a warning will be generated in the Defender portal. And you can validate or in the event here, you can see that uh, whether Microsoft Defender has really worked or not. The, set, the configuration you did is really working or not, right? So let me configure it in the enable mode. And in the next, you have to assign it to a group, right? So uh, either you can assign it to all the devices in your organization, or you can choose a group, choose the group. And now you can choose the applicability rule if in case you want. In my lab, I'm not going to choose, a, I'm not going to select any applicability rule here. So let's keep it default. And next, then you can create a profile, right? So once you play, click on create, a profile will be created. So like, I already have a profile created for the same. And uh, let me show you what all settings I have done in it. So there is a profile called network protection profile. If you go to the set, if you go to the profile and go to the properties, right, you can see that network protection is already enabled here. And I have assigned it to a group, the endpoint security group. And once you click on the device status, you can see whether my uh, policies are successfully pushed on the devices or not if uh, you can check the deployment status it is succeeded it means the policy is in place onto the devices so now let's see whether network protection is configured there on the device or not let me go to the app vm2 so this is app vm02 one of my vm which is part of that group and uh, let me show you the history settings because uh, in order to validate uh, whether the network protection profile is configured on the device or not you can just open the registry and uh, in the local uh, hk local machine softwares uh, you have an option of you have policies and under policies you have microsoft 
Windows Defender policy manager and you have an option called enable network protection that is configured the value is one right so it means it is in place settings are in place onto the device for the demo purpose what i have done i have added a list of uh, urls in my microsoft 365 defender portal and uh, i don't want my users to use those particular uh, URLs as well as I have also been uh, added a IP address there, and uh, I don't want my users to use any application to access a particular website. Let me show you what configuration I have done. Let me log into the portal first. I have defined some custom indicators here, and if you see this list, then I have uh, I don't want my users to to use facebook.com msp.in and youtube.com and uh, even i don't my users to uh, have any kind of communication with this particular ip address now uh, let's log into the devices and uh, validate whether a configuration is working fine or not let me go to the vm again now uh, and uh, the first thing we need to check is whether my uh, urls which i have blocked like msn.com facebook.com so they are blocked or not. Let me go to H and let me try to open the URL uh, Amazon.in. This is what I have defined there. Uh, yeah, so this is blocked. It's working now. And similarly, if I try to open Facebook.com, let's see whether that site is also blocked or not. Yes, you can see the Facebook is blocked. And uh, now I want to validate whether the similar settings are working fine for my other browsers as well so let me go to google chrome and try to open amazon .in and the site cannot provide a secure connection because the site is blocked the content is blocked if i try to open amazon.com then it should work Right, because this one is not blocked, I'm able to open it. Similarly, for the Firefox, if I go ahead and open Facebook.com here, it should not work. So it is not working. And uh, what I other settings what I have done here is I have blocked uh, access to this particular box. IP address. So if I try to communicate with this IP address using any of the application, it should not work. So let me try to RDP to the server. This is a Windows Server machine and let me try to RDP to the server. If I do a RDP, it should not work. It is not working because my the content the content is blocked and it is uh, Microsoft Defender is blocking this. And the other settings what I have done, I have created a file hash uh, I have added a half file hash here and it is blocked here. Right? Let me try to copy the same file and let's see what happens then. I already have a file created here. This is the file. This is a text file I created. And let me try to copy it onto the device. So my defender found threats get the details and if i refresh it for some time it should go and uh, once as now we can see that okay my network protection is working fine on the device and i can block the urls i can block uh, i can block the access to facebook amazon.m or the files i don't want to access and uh, the IP addresses which where I don't want the communication to happen from my protected devices. Let's see whether what all I can see in the portal now. If I go to the portal here and I can check incident and alerts. So social networking not allowed. This is the one which I have blocked. If I go to the I want to see the details here, I can see from where I have accessed it. Uh, I this is accessed using my Google Chrome and uh, the URL. This is crashing the custom network details, and we have blocked the YouTube. Right. So, this shows that my network protection is working fine on the device. 
and uh, if I let me show you how what all settings you need to do when you want to configure network protection using group policies. If I go to my domain controller, so what you need to do, you have to create a profile for a group policy for the user to configure this. You can configure it using group policies. Uh, this is one of the policy which I have, and if I go to edit and uh, Policies, Windows template, and under Windows component, Defender Antivirus, Windows Defender Exploit Card, and Network Protection. You just need to enable this, right? You just need to enable this. I already have this enabled, and I can show you which. Uh, where I have applied, I have applied this policy on to the VMs which are part of this particular group, right? So, uh, app hyper VM. Let me show you which particular Windows 10 device is part of this. If I go to user and computers and go to app VM, so this is the desktop which is part of the ticket. So, let me go to this desktop. This desktop is app VM 04. So I'm on the right host. In order to validate whether the configuration we just did is uh, in place on the devices or not, we can either use uh, Microsoft PowerShell or Registry Editor. So let me show you uh, what uh, where you need to look in the Registry Editor first. If I go to uh, HK Local Machine under Softwares, we have an option called Policies, and uh, under Policies we have Microsoft. Uh, under Microsoft, there's a option with Windows Defender, and then we have Windows Defender Exploit Guard. And under Exploit Guard, we have option of network protection. So if you see on the right hand side, we have enable network protection and the value of this is set to one. So it means uh, my policies, uh, my configuration is in place. Similarly, what you can do, you, you can also use PowerShell command to uh, see whether network protection is enabled on the device or not. Get hyphen MP uh, preferences. And uh, if you just scroll up a bit, there is an option. Uh, you can see this network protection is set to one. It means network protection is enabled on the device. So if this device is not managed by Microsoft Intune, so it means it is not automatically onboarded to my uh, Microsoft 365 portal, Defender portal. So what I have done, I have onboarded these devices uh, using group policy into Microsoft 365 Defender portal. I have a separate video for the same. I will be sharing the link in my description for the for this. You can just watch how you can onboard a device which is uh, using group policy to Microsoft 365 Defender portal. So let's see uh, whether all those configuration, what we did uh, there, like uh, we blocked some URLs, we blocked uh, our communication to an IP address, and we also um, blocked an IP in a file as well. Uh, is uh, blocked on this desktop or not? If I go ahead and uh, try to browse Amazon.in, it should be blocked. It should not work. Yes. So we are not able to access Amazon.in here. It means uh, the configuration we did is uh, applicable on this uh, desktop as well. Similarly, we uh, blocked Facebook.com as well. So uh, Facebook is .com is also not accessible. So it, this means that uh, we are not able to access the URLs which we blocked onto my uh, Microsoft 360 vendor portal. Uh, we, we are not able to open uh, them here as well. So what we all covered in this video, so we discuss about why we need network protection, why, what are the different requirements for it, and we also discuss about the different ways how you can configure network protection. And at the end, what we have done, we have uh, done a demo, and we have configured uh, network protection using uh, Microsoft Intune and Atuatory Group Policies. I, I hope this will be informative for you. Please do share and subscribe if you really like the video as I have a lot more videos to come. In case you want me to make videos on a specific topic, do mention in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching this video one more time. Have a great day. Thank you.